I'm going to be honest with you and tell you what's really, really helped me out in my life overall in general with all relationships. And I know you're sick of hearing the, the word, the term boundaries, but Lord, they are your best friend. I, I, I used to be a puppeteer to the people around me. Now, and, and listen, I'm not a, um, a dissociative, absent, uh, but, however, I put me, my emotions, my needs first. Period. End of discussion. Somebody texts me. I don't need to text right back. I'll think about it for a while. Somebody, I mean, I don't care if it's somebody in my extended family going to the hospital. Keep me posted. Unless it's an emergency, I don't need to get all riled up and dysregulated. Um, I have a motto. Lack of planning on your end does not constitute an emergency on mine. I will get my self-care. I will get my night routine. I will fill my cup first. Because everything in my cup is mine. And it's what I need. It's not only what I deserve, it's what I need. Everything overflowing out of my cup is for everybody else. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand there's emergencies. Listen, I'm in the sandwich generation. I have my in-laws that live with us very elderly. I can't tell you how many times I've been to the hospital the last couple of weeks. I have young kids. I'm in that sandwich generation. If I'm not running to a sports game, I'm running to a doctor appointment. I get it. Lord knows I get, we're, stre we're stressed and we're stretched. But let me make it very clear. My mental health comes first. If that means somebody in my family has to go to the hospital, they have an appointment, I'll call them an Uber. Happy to pay for it. Let me tell you something. Just because you're available does not mean you're free. Or just because you're free does not mean you're available. If you do not prioritize your mental health, the people around you in life will suck you dry. Intentionally and unintentionally. Every time there's a shift... I don't care if it's from global warming, if you subscribe to that, to icebergs falling, to you, to you name it. It takes time to readjust to that shift. Sometimes there's a lot of resistance. So when you start enforcing your boundaries, you're going to get a lot of resistance from people. You got to do you. At the end of our life, when we're in our deathbed, when we're on our deathbed, we're the ones that have to ask ourselves, did I live for me or did I, was I a puppeteer to everybody else's needs? Now listen, be a good human, be a decent human, do for others, bless others, give to others, go above and beyond for others. But boy, you better be doing that first for yourself. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Have them, more important, enforce them.